Hey there, welcome to Encouraging Word. My name is Dave, and this is another episode of A Brief Word of Encouragement from the Bible. Uh, I'm in Killarney, Manitoba, and I'm so glad that you've decided to watch us today and take the time. I really appreciate it. Thanks for hitting share. Thanks for hitting like. Yesterday in church, we talked about two strategies to use in difficult situations when we're facing difficult times. Uh, one was to ask the right question, and two was to acknowledge the enemy but to keep our eyes fixed on the Lord. Uh, the only question we really have to ask in difficult situations is always, how will God be glorified in this? Uh, you can ask how, you can ask why, you can ask all kinds of questions that we may not get answers to. But God delights when we ask him the question, how am I going to bring glory to God in this situation? As I mentioned in 1647, I believe it was, um, the Westminster Catechism starts by asking, what is the chief end or chief purpose of man? And the response is that man's chief purpose is to glorify God and to enjoy him forever. I live to glorify God. You live to glorify God. And we don't have to be afraid of him. We don't do it because of fear. We do it because we get to enjoy him. We get to enjoy his presence, his love, his grace, all the things in our lives. The Apostle Paul wrote in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 31 to 33, So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all to the glory of God. Do not cause anyone to stumble, whether Jews or Greeks or the church of God, even as I try to please everyone in every way. For I am not seeking my own good, but the good of many, so that they may be saved. God wants us to live in such a way that we bring glory to God in everything that we do, by our actions, by our words, by our thoughts. Um, Paul here is in the middle of talking about um, personal freedom, what you can do and what you can't shouldn't do. And he's saying that whatever we do, whatever choice we make, we should do it all to the glory of God. You know, there's a lot of discussion right now in our world uh, about freedom. And we have, I've seen people protest. I've seen people sign petitions, all kinds of things, which are our rights as uh, Canadians. But in all the discussions regarding freedom, we have to live in such a way that we bring glory to God by how we treat others, by how we reflect on who God is and what God has done for us. We must never, ever think that our personal freedom overrides or supersedes the glory of God. Sometimes God allows people to go through difficult situations in which our freedoms may be restricted, but he does it so that God can be glorified through that. Uh, you know, in the Bible, Psalm 19 verse 1 says, All heaven declares the glory of God. The heavens declare the glory of God. You know, it's been amazing lately to see pictures from Mars being sent back by uh, NASA. And, um, you know, it's it's amazing to sit back and watch the, the incredible sights from outer space, from uh, another planet, uh, and to think of the ability to uh, to understand and get a glimpse of the vastness of God's creation, the vastness of space, even uh, the vastness of our uh, universe. And but it's also amazing to think about the the wonder of mankind that God has given us the intelligence to explore these things, to know these things, to have the scientific ability to send a, a rocket to another planet and just take pictures, such glorious pictures. It's, an, it's quite incredible. You know, um, the heavens declare the glory of God. That's what the Bible says. And you and I are meant to declare the glory of God as well. That means more than just reading a few lines uh, on the internet and thinking that we know everything there is to know about a certain subject. Uh, God's given us an intelligence and a brain, and he gives other people who know far more than we do about certain subjects. We really do need to keep our eyes focused on the majesty and the glory of God. Uh, even today, I would encourage you to just 
take some time and think about God and his goodness to us. Uh, Psalm 8 verses 4 and 5 says, What is mankind that you are mindful of them, human beings that you care for them? You have made them a little lower than the angels and crowned them with glory and honor. God has crowned us with glory and honor. We need to live in such a way that we reflect the glory and honor that God has crowned us with. God is so good. And to think that we get to glorify him every day, it's pretty amazing. Hey, let's bow together in prayer. Father, thank you so much for your people. Thank you so much for this opportunity to share together, to encourage one another. God, you are amazing. And to think that you consider us, to think that you care about our well-being, to think that you crown us with glory and honor. And so, Father, I pray that you would help us each day to live in such a way that we bring glory to you by our words, by our actions, by our attitudes, how we treat other people, how we live for you. Father, may we bring glory to you in all that we do. I pray this in the name of our Savior, Jesus, who loves us and cares for us. Amen. Hey, thanks so much for watching. God bless you. Tomorrow, I'm going to uh, head into Winnipeg. Elaine has a doctor's appointment, a specialist appointment. We appreciate your prayers. I'm going to be sending you in advance a uh, word of encouragement. uh, And so you'll have that for tomorrow. But uh, we look forward to seeing you. God bless you. Have a great day.